Hi, Yakum, everyone. Welcome back to Live at Expo. Today is episode 30. Can you believe it? We've made it through 30 episodes. My name is Amani Stevens. You can also call me Amani Kins, and I'll be your host. Right now, I'm standing in Sunset Avenue in the Opportunity District. I will go ahead and pull up the map so you guys can have a look. So as you guys can see, the blue area is the mobility district, the green area is the sustainability district, and the yellow area where we are currently is the opportunity district. Today, we'll be going to three places. First, we'll go to Baden-Württemberg, and then the Indonesia Pavilion, and then we'll finish it off with a nice cup of coffee in Canvas by Coffee Culture. Are you guys excited for today? Because I definitely know that I am. And boom, we've hit our first spot. Baden-Württemberg. Hi everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. Hello, hello. Okay guys, don't forget that this is your show too. So anytime you guys see anything interesting, feel free to chime in in the comments. Now, you wanna get as many points as possible for two reasons. When you guys post a comment and it gets featured, you'll receive three points. When you go to a country, you'll unlock a country bag. When we try some food, we'll unlock a food badge. And yes, you guys want to collect as many points as possible for two reasons. The first reason is we have a daily leaderboard. So if you want to see your name up on that leaderboard, you know what to do. The second reason is for every 100 points that you accumulate, you will receive a seed of change. At the very end of the episode, collectively, we will decide where to plant those seeds of change. Okay guys, let's go ahead and get started. Woo. Hello! Hi, Hi guys, welcome to the Baden-Württemberg house. Amazing! So, are you excited? Yes, very excited. Great. Guys, we're with Michelle, and if you guys have any questions for Michelle, go ahead and drop them into the comments and we'll chit-chat as we go along. Sounds great. So let's go into the land. Let's do it. So at night I really love the atmosphere here with the beanbags and everything. It's very chill. People love to be here, especially when we have like artists. They are always performing here at the steps so everybody can join if they want to. They can just sit down and have a good time and listen to the music or see the dancers coming. Yes. So Amazing. right now we're going to go upstairs to the exhibition. Awesome. So Ooh, we have a nice comment in from Shaheen. Hi Amani, nice to see you. Excited to see the show. Oh, thank you so much for tuning in. We have so much in store, so stay tuned. Yes. <laughs> it's great to have you here. Thank you, thank you. Guys, where are you tuning in from? Do let us know. Ooh, Alfonso says Baden-Württemberg for the first time with their own pavilion. That's yes. Right. Yes. So Right now, we are here in the Black Forest. I think a lot of people know the Black Forest, it's very famous. So, uh, the comment was right. For the first time in this, uh, its history, we are here with our own pavilion. Yes. So, normally here are just nations. We have 192 nations here and one region, Baden-Württemberg. We had a little competition for that and we beat California, so... Oh, wow! Very proud of that. <laughs> Mabruk, well done, well done! Yeah, so when we proposed here first, uh, we had like this wooden construction here and I'm gonna take you guys to the balcony Ooh. as you can see Gorgeous! So you already saw it from the outside, I think from the inside it's almost even more stunning So when we proposed here with this wooden construction the Emirates were a little bit uh, skeptic about this because they're not used to build with uh, wood but in our region it has a very long history of a building with timber and wood and um, as you can see it works and also can look beautiful and stunning so uh, this is um, this is digitally uh, produced and uh, designed beforehand so when it arrived finally here in mm. dubai from the black forest everything fitted perfectly we had to wait a little bit longer for that because um, this would actually got stuck in the Suez Canal for oh four no. weeks. Oh no, four weeks! Yeah, we were very afraid that it wouldn't come in time, but thankfully it was here. So uh, when we proposed here the, uh, to build this construction, uh, one of the things that the people said were like, eh, what? It's flammable. Like, mm, maybe true. don't do that. True. And we wanted to prove them wrong and we did. Nice. Uh, but one of the steps that we actually took was to coat it with an extra layer uh, to protect it from fire and anything else. And this is also good because <laughs> this uh, building 
building here is going to be used afterwards, after the expo, by a university. So we're not going to uh, debuild this whole temple building. It's one of the few that is actually going to stay here. And it's going to be used uh, in a sustainable way by a university. Oh, nice. I like that. Yes. Perfect. So, okay, we have a nice question in from Jed Nam. What sort of wood is it? Ah, it's mostly bruce. Bruce. Yeah, it's uh, local in Baden-Württemberg. So we used... Uh, so maybe I can show you here. Sure, let's that's, look at the map. <laughs> that's the shape of Baden-Württemberg. It's located in the southwest of Germany. Ooh. Here in very central Europe. So all the dots that you see here is wood. So almost 40% of our whole region is covered in a forest. This is the Black Forest, for example, and the Swabian Alp. So uh, the wood that we used was all, si all locally sourced and sustainably farmed. Nice, nice, yes. super sustainable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so as we go along, we have here our like forest. This is uh, we use it as a entrance. So a lot Lovely. of people know Germany, of course, everybody knows Germany, mm. but not everybody knows like the different states, like uh, in, for example, in this, uh, like United States, like true. Texas or something. So very true. Uh, here we want to introduce people to different aspects that makes uh, Baden-Württemberg such a great country to live in. For example, the culture. So uh, here we have a variation of uh, ballet. So uh, traditionally you have very beautiful costumes in the ballet and one of the very famous ones is in Stuttgart in Baden-Württemberg. But in the 1920s um, uh, Schlemmer wanted to spice it up a little bit to give it a new twist and to enter the modern era. Mm. So these are the original costumes that we had there. And I think they're very great, very different. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely. But uh, also ja uh, Baden-Württemberg is uh, known for its poets, for its thinkers. For example, Friedrich Schiller here. That's Friedrich Schiller the second, because the first one that we got, when it was still under construction here, the whole building, uh, he lost his nose. Oh no! We call him Sphinx Schiller, so uh, I hope this one lasts. Yeah, I hope so too. <laughs> So I want to show you a little bit more about other inventors. That yes, we had and in just future. before we hop into the next part, we yes. do have a question from yes. Mosey. Do the pillars mean anything? Uh, these pillars? Mm. Okay, they are like an abstract version of the Black Forest, so they represent Aha. the trees. That there you go, the you got your answer. <laughs> So, a lot of people know that in Germany the car was invented, yes. but very little know that it was invented in Baden-Württemberg, oh. as well as the bicycle. Nice. So, mobility is a very huge aspect of our industry back at home. Mm. And, uh, for example, this guy, a lot of people know Albert Einstein, he was born in Ulm. And uh, here's the reason why we have quantum computers uh, today. Mm. And the first quantum computer located in Europe is actually also in Baden-Württemberg. I feel like the rest of Germany is asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Wake up. <laughs> yeah, so what we want to show is that um, for us it's very important to have a mix between tradition and innovation. Definitely. So here we come Ooh, to our main exhibition. Lovely. With these lovely guys. Hello. Hi guys. Hello. hello. Say hi to Expo hello. Live. Hello. Hi. Hello. So here you find yourself at the source of innovation. I really love this place because Lovely. when it's like very hectic outside, here you can just sit down and watch at the source a little bit. You see a lot of different aspects that you already saw in the Black Forest and a lot of things that are new. This, for example, represents the quantum computer that I just mm. talked about. So this is almost shaped like Baden-Württemberg. We have a little bit of Switzerland in there for our uh, general constructor. Nice. Yeah, so let's see what we have here. Ooh, we ah. have a nice comment in from Costa. So Costa saying, the exhibit is so chill and Michelle is doing a great job there. <laughs> That's so nice of him. Thank, Thank you, you Costa. Very much. Super sweet. <laughs> Uh. Okay guys, we have a trivia poll running. Let's see. What do you call the Germanic people who are native to Baden-Württemberg? Use hashtag A for Swabians, hashtag B for Bavarians, or hashtag C for Württembergians. Don't say the answer. Let's give them a couple of seconds to have a guess and you can go ahead and uh, tell me more about this gorgeous uh, floor installation. Ah, there we have Ooh, Einstein. Einstein again. <laughs> 
So uh, this here is really to calm down and uh, just take in, like we have a lot of information here, for example here our field of innovation. You have different tables where you have uh, topics that are very important uh, in the future like uh, mobility or healthcare and other aspects. So uh, what we wanted to do here is to create a little space where you can like uh, reflect everything that you heard and learned here. Yes, definitely. So maybe we should go to like one of the tables. Yes, let's go ahead and do it. Let's mm. quickly check into the poll. Let's see how we're doing. Oh. It is still running and uh, ooh, interesting, interesting. Yeah, okay. We'll check back in a little <laughs> bit. Get your comments in if you guys haven't voted already. Hashtag A or hashtag B or hashtag C. Wonderful. So yes. Here, let's take future health. So. As you know, health is like very important at the moment because of the coronavirus that is still spreading all over the world. So one of the companies that we have in Baden-Württemberg, they are doing research with messenger RNA. Mm. So what they are basically doing is they are creating an RNA string. It's like the so sorry. Yeah. Let's quickly check in on the poll, and it is now closed. And you guys were very much correct. Hope you guys didn't use Google, but yes, it was hashtag A Swabians. Ah, congratulations! Good job, guys. Wonderful. Do continue. Yeah. So RNA is like a single strand of DNA, mm. and uh, what they're basically doing is they're building an RNA string that is uh, filled with a construction plan for a vaccine. So when you inject this into the body, the body uses it and uh, knows how to build the vaccine itself. Ooh. So that's the basic idea. Uh, that's also like how most of the vaccines that are for coronavirus right now are working. So uh, this is very interesting. Uh, oh, definitely. Maybe let's go back to mobility. What let's do, do it. Let's go up into the sky. Ooh. Because we have the first flying taxi here. It's the Volocopter. And basically, it's completely uh, eco-friendly. I'll quickly zoom in close so the chat can see what we're discussing. It's a helicopter. It flies autonomous and basically it works like Uber. So you send them your location and this uh, helicopter comes to you and flies you wherever you want to go. Here in uh, Dubai, we already have them started and it's the urban way to move in the future, hopefully. Okay, perfect. So, Ooh, we have a question in from VP Test One. What does the LAN refer to? I did notice it was just yeah. over here, and even when we entered the pavilion, it was also in the signage. You like it? I do. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so the LAN is actually a marketing strategy that. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> that. Uh, we just uh, entered, so uh, before we had a saying that is like we can do anything, yeah. except uh, speaking like uh, high German because of the dialect. And now we have the land. So the nice. land is um, internationally placing Baden-Württemberg on the world stage. Nice. So uh, for a lot of people, it's very hard to say Baden-Württemberg. Okay. I know, I totally understand. So the land, you know, like the A dots, people see that and they're like, okay, German. Yeah, and Got we it. wanted to show them we are their land. Nice, nice. <laughs> I like it. Thank you so much for clarifying. Yeah, no problem. So, let's see. Ooh, there's so many different ones. Oh yeah, kids love it here. Like so much to see and so much to walk on. So let's go to one of our sponsors maybe. I think you noticed the umbrellas outside. Oh yes we did. Yeah. So they are one from one of our companies, MDT Tax. Ooh. And uh, this is like a smaller version of them. So what is special about them is that they actually they catch rain, not that much in Dubai to be honest, but uh, a lot of dirt and everything and it goes uh, straight through the pipe in the middle so you don't have it on the umbrella itself and doesn't get this dirty. So nice. I'll go ahead and zoom yeah, in close do. so the chat can so see. We don't only have them here in Dubai, but also in Medina. <gasps> so in the second holiest Ooh. place in the Islam, you find uh, the same umbrellas, a little bit bigger, and uh, decorated with gold and everything because there it's not only very holy but also very, very sunny. So mm. they spend a lot of shadow and they're just beautiful to see. Lovely, yeah. lovely. Yeah. So. What time is it? <laughs> Good question. What time is it? It is 10 past 7! Da -da. <laughs> so this is also one of our partners uh, to clock. I just love these clocks. Maybe I'm going to steal one after the expo. <laughs> <laughs> yes. This one is with 16 different layers of metal. Uh, 
one wow. of them is uh, golf, for example. Also very heavy, so I maybe need help carrying <laughs> if you're in. I'll help, yeah, yeah, girl, Perfect. we're going to do it together. <laughs> Ooh, we have a question in from Jude. Is Michelle's badge in the shape of Biden Wurttemberg? Oh, yes. So good you caught that. Thank Can you I zoom for in noticing. Yeah, so this is actually is. the shape of Biden Wurttemberg, and it's also made out of wood. So wood is like the main topic that we have here because uh, wood has a long tradition uh, in construction in Baden Wurttemberg, and it's also very sustainable. Yes. And we want uh, to show here how you can uh, build beautiful buildings with wood. So yeah. <laughs> Perfect, perfect. Thank you so much, Michelle. Okay, let's head on out together. Yeah, please. Ooh, so Sandra says, super, really informative. Is there any last things that you'd like to say to the chat? And if you guys have any last questions, quickly drop them in. Yeah, please. So I hope that you're all coming by. Uh, today our restaurant is actually closed, but if anybody is interested in some Käsespätzle, please come by. So Käsespätzle, it's a traditional Swabian mm. dish. Normally made, it's a pasta, but made on a cutting board. Like you have the dough on there, and then you dip, 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 dip oh. into the hot water. It's like the traditional way of doing mac and cheese, basically. Yes. And uh, we have a lot of other delicious uh, things. Uh, the Black Forest cake, for example, is Ooh, actually from the Black Forest. Nice, so, I had no clue. Yeah, so Baden Württemberg, it's not always about like uh, innovation and just the industry and everything and mobility. We also have a lot of great culinary experiences. Nice. Yes. By the way, guys, we've unlocked the Baden-Württemberg country badge. Well done! It means that everyone in the chat just received a hundred points. Well done, guys. Congratulations, Paige. <laughs> oh, look at that. Alfonso says the Black Forest in German. You could say that word? Mountainous massive. <laughs> Uh, with, with a, a high, high forest, forest density. density. Yeah, that's why right. 40% of our estate is actually covered in forest, so in trees. Nice, nice. Thanks so, again, Michelle. This thank has you been so, so much good. For you Guys, here. say goodbye to Guys, Michelle. It's been great. Thank you so much. Please come by and have a nice evening. Thank you, you too. Okay. Bye, See Michelle. Ya. Bye bye. Guys, that was so fun. Which was your, what was your favorite thing in the Vatten, uh, Baden Vattenberg uh, pavilion? Do let me know. Sorry guys, I'm just watching the steps so I don't trip. <laughs> okay guys, we are now back on Sunset Avenue in the Opportunity District. And now we're gonna quickly jump into the daily leaderboard to see how we're all doing. Okay guys, tied for sixth place, we have Mosey, Muhammad, Jednam, Cyrus, and AK Premium Experiences. In fifth place, we have Sandra. Fourth place, we have Rainer. In third place, we have Jude. In second place, we have Alfonso. And in the number one spot, currently, the person to beat is I am No Name. I am Hassan No Name. Woo, well done, guys, well done. Ooh, Wahid says, best wishes to all. Would love to join the world in Expo 2020 Dubai. Wonderful. Oh, Wahid, that's so sweet. Okay, guys, we've just reached our second location, which is right in front of us, Indonesia. Look at that. Super pretty. So they even have a little stage set up. So I'm sure they have lots of lovely entertainment happening. And let's go ahead and make our way inside the Indonesia Pavilion. I also want to hear from you guys. Is anyone from Indonesia in the chat? Do let me know. I'm waiting, Indonesia Pavilion. I'm so excited. Ooh! Hi, Sigid Prononomo. Okay, cool. Hello! Hi! Hi! How you doing? Good. How are you? Good. Guys, we're with Amelia, the Pavilion Director. If you guys have any questions for Amelia, go ahead and drop them into the comments. Okay. Yes, let's go. So okay, where in uh, Indonesia are you from? Jakarta. Jakarta. Ooh, the capital. Yes. Nice. I'll take you in. Let's do it. Wow. So for Indonesia, we'll take you a journey Welcome from past, present and future. As you can see Let's here, we have nutmeg in these little cubes and star anise. So we have 23 different spices that we spread across 5,000 little cubes. Lovely. Can I just see here? On your hand? Yes. Go ahead and here. Here. We've got nutmeg and star anise. Lovely. So we can see here our history. Yeah, all over the 
on wall. I'll go ahead and get a close yep. up for the audience to see as well. Look, guys, all the cues are, are stuck onto the wall, just like Amelia's holding. Look at that. Can you see that? So pretty. Lovely. And then in this wall, we can see here our history of spices. Oh, nice. So these ones that one pound or nutmeg is equal to seven fat oxen in the past. So we can see the story here. Nice. Precious spices. Yes. These are all wall of spices. What other spices do you have? So I have 23 different spices. 23 different spices. Nice. Yes. And we also show you Shipped, uh -huh. different ship that we use in the past for our spices tree. Oh, lovely! Yes. And the ships facilitated all the spice trees. Yes. Lovely. Nice. And then we come to another um, area, what we call as becoming Indonesia. Okay. So we show you four different um, arts. Batik dancing. Nice. Yeah. So we show you first Borobudur, which is the biggest temple in Indonesia. Mm -hmm. And then we we'll show you how batik was made. Lovely. And then we show you the different traditional dances oh, in nice. Indonesia. Nice. And this is rendang. Mm. It is voted as one of the most delicious food by CNN in 2017. Yummy! Yes. Guys, have you ever tried rendang? Let me know in the comments if you've ever tried rendang. We have rendang downstairs in, in, in our restaurant. Ooh, if you want to try. Lovely! Hey, I wouldn't mind, I wouldn't mind. Ooh, vibrant present. Now we come to our vibrant present. Lovely. This is our Welcome to Indonesia yes. today. This is our Experience Indonesia today. We have four different um, exhibitions. Uh -huh. One part is the food and culture. We have infrastructure and industry, ecology and tourism, and also digital and creative economy. Lovely. Sure, let's do it. Let me quickly check on the chat to see what they're saying. Uh, YNS says, Indonesia, Selamat Malam. Selamat Malam is good night. <laughs> okay, hi, hi, apa kabar? I don't think they know that I can speak. By the way, guys, I can speak a bit of Indonesian. Oh, I can speak Indonesian. Yes. Yeah. Okay, cool, nice. Oh, the lights were on us, nice. Yep. And this section and this, is? This section is infrastructure and industry. So we can feel the Indonesian advancement today what we have achieved up until now. And another section we call, we call it as ecology and tourism. Ooh. So we show you different animals. Komodo dragon is one of them. Lovely. And have you ever seen a Komodo oh. dragon in real life? Yes. Nice, it's nice. nice. Ooh, and Bunga Raplicia. Yes. And also we have Lake Toba, Bali. Ooh, I love Bali. I've been twice. Oh, nice. Yeah. Lovely. And then another one, the last part of exhibition, we have digital and creative economy. Ooh. So we have many artists from Indonesia and all creative economy that we've shown here. And also we have many startups. We have Decacorn and uh, yes. many others. Lovely. Ooh, let's go ahead and check in on the chat. Let's see how they're doing. Okay. Send in any questions if you have any questions for Amelia. Ooh, Miriam says very nice technology. Oh, that's so sweet of Miriam. Yes, let's come in. And then we come to our future ready section. Okay. So we have three concepts here. Yes. We show you our um, new capital city our vision of Indonesia 2045 and our mangrove. Wow. We have the biggest mangrove in the world. Nice. Hi Aldi, wonderful Indonesia he's saying. Guys, look at this area, gorgeous. Come in and 
take your selfies here. Ooh, selfie moment. Ooh, I am Hassan No Name. Says Indonesia has many beautiful resources. Nice. Very true, very true. Yes, okay. so tell us more about this lovely room. So this is one of, uh, it's created by one of our artists, Indonesian mm -hmm. artists. It's, uh, so you, we can take a selfie here, like, uh, because of the vibrant color, yes. the batik, and all of these uh, beautiful vegetations. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Nice. So I'll take you through to the last part of our exhibition, which uh -huh. is Children's Pledge. Children's Pledge. Yes. <laughs> I'm Andeep, he posted an emoji of a, of a hand taking a selfie. <laughs> Oh, I'm a deep. That's funny. Okay, so this is our children's pledge. As for our promise to protect our future. And then we will say it in uh, 12 different languages, including sign language. Mm. So we can say Arabic, Indonesian, English, and many more. Lovely. Yep. Okay. Perfect. Nice. Okay, I see Chinese. Yes. Lovely. We have uh, 12 mm. different languages. 12 different languages. Nice. And these children wearing different um, Indonesian attire. Yes. That is coming from different parts of Indonesia. Lovely. Oh wow, there's German in the back. Have a comment in. Let's go ahead and check it out. Mr. Shazad says the Indonesia Pavilion is totally different planet. Yes, thank you. Oh, lovely. Ooh, Jude says so dreamy. Thank you, Jude. That's so sweet of you. Okay, so I believe we're going to go have a special treat. Yes, I'll take you through. Uh, rolling exhibition so okay. we have a different exhibition if you want to come every week so we have mm. different uh, things to show every yes. week we nice. have different ministry we have different provinces that coming to Dubai mm -hmm. to showcase their products their performances nice. and by the way we have a daily performances daily yes Ooh. outside um, at the outdoor uh, stage. Yes, I did see the setup. I looked at it briefly before we yes. went inside. Do you guys remember that? Let me know in the comments if you guys remember that. Oh, we had some people saying I love Bali. Yes, come to Bali. It's definitely it's a... open now. Yay! Yes. Okay, good to know. So guys, we got the hot tip from Amelia. It's open now. Come in. Nice. Chuang Bing Guan says, such a diverse culture in Indonesia. Thank you. Very cool. Okay guys, we are just making our way down and we're going to head over. <laughs> A7 Indonesia, the beautiful. Aw, super sweet. Thank you guys for tuning in. It's so sweet of you guys and we love hearing from you. Wahid says, love Indonesia. Thanks to both of you for taking us around this beautiful pavilion, Expo 2020. Oh, you're Please very welcome. Here. Yeah, the pleasure is all ours. So we're about to taste Indonesian food mm. after this. That would be lovely. So, how long did it take to build this pavilion? Uh, three years. Three years. Yes. Wow. wow. We built it from the scratch, so it took about, it took about three years. To build wow. The yeah. And uh, the materials that you guys sourced, were they local from the UAE or is anything imported? Uh, most of them are from UAE, but we brought something from Indonesia. Like nice. Our nice. Asad and this thing. Oh, of nice. Chad says, one of the most beautiful country is Indonesia. Lovely. <gasps> Look at that, guys. We've just unlocked the Indonesia country badge. Well done, everyone. That means every single person in the chat right now just received 100 points. Well done, guys. Well done. And now we're making our way into the restaurant. Ooh, lovely. 
Hi, Chef Hi, Ahmed. Welcome to Indonesia Understand the Dure So. Thank you, yeah. thank you so much. Uh -huh. Amazing. Yeah, thank you. Please okay, welcome. let's go ahead and find <laughs> a spot to sit <laughs> down. Today. Of course, we sit in there. Please have a seat. Thank you, thank you. Okay, guys, we're in for a special treat. Ooh. VP Tez says Indonesia Pavilion has such a colorful logo. Oh, that's so sweet of them. Okay. Just, um, yeah. Perfect. Okay, guys. Yes, so do tell us about the cuisine in this restaurant. Yes, I have, uh, I have prepared now for you, special for you. We have nasi Ooh. rendang, nasi padang, and then we have bakso, and then we have fried to the mie goreng from Indonesia, special from Indonesia. Amazing, that yes, sounds lovely. Nice, nice. Have you guys tried any of the dishes that Chef Ahmed has just told us about? Do let us know in the chat. Oh, YNS says, Indonesia, big country, so many islands, so many cultures, so many traditions. Very true. Question for you, how many islands does Indonesia have? I know it's an archipelago. It's around 17,000. 17,000! Guys, did you hear that? 17,000 islands. Oh my goodness! Guys, check out the spread! We are being spoiled today! Ooh, this looks so gorgeous! Wow! Okay! Wow! Thank you. Lovely, lovely! This is our menu. This Perfect! Nasi I'll, go ahead. Nasi I'll go ahead and show you guys. Can you see that? We've got rice, we've got chicken. Do tell us about each of the items. <laughs> Alfonso says, Nasi Padang is a boiled white rice dish served with side dishes like beef rendang. You're correct, and that's what we're looking at right now. Oh, amazing. Do you guys have more plates? Do join me. I mean, do you guys have plates? And then we can all have a little bit, yes. I don't want to be greedy, I want to share. <laughs> okay, amazing. You should try this bakso or meatball. Nice. Yes, tell me about the meatballs. So it's our what we call it, like our comfort food actually. Okay, in nice. Indonesia, like everyone loves this one. Nice. I'll go ahead and show the chat as well. It is soupy, so I'm going to go ahead and tilt you guys down. Do you see that? We've got meatballs, there's noodles, we've got leafy greens. Lovely. I'll place that down. Go ahead and show you guys the last dish before we start and digging meat in. Goreng. Ooh, have you guys tried meat goreng meat. before? fried noodles. Got fried noodles and we've got fried chicken. chicken. Yes. Lovely. Ooh, I'm excited to tuck in. Yes. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay guys, I think we'll start off with this dish. I'll just uh, slide this over. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I'll go ahead and grab some rice. I'll take some nasi rendang. That beef rendang. The beef rendang. Yeah, yes. Rindang. Beef rendang. I was voted as the most delicious food. Yeah. Lovely. Guys, tuck in with me. Like, come yep. share, come share. And then I'll grab a bit more rice and I'll put a little bit of this on there. <laughs> There's so many choices. There's so many food items. I'm being super spoiled. Okay. This we are pack. This pack. Amazing. Okay. Thank you so much. Let's Go ahead and join me. Okay, so I'm going to try some of the beef rindang with the rice. Can you guys see? Here we go. Mmm. 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 That is lovely. The meat is so tender. It's got all the spices. It's definitely spicy, but I love spicy. It definitely has a kick to it. And the rice is so nice. It just balances out all the flavors. Delicious. The character from Padang, of course, spicy. Mm. That's the character. Yes, very true. Thank you so much, Chef Ahmed. This is so delicious. Thank you, thank you. So, how long have you been a chef for? Uh, okay, only, the, only the expo. Mm. Like for my career. Mm -hmm, Maybe mm -hmm. more twenty years. Twenty years. Yes, twenty years in the kitchen. Always Amazing. What a restaurant like that. Nice, nice. Yeah. Where did your passion for food come from? Basically, I'm from Europe, mm -hmm. but yeah, you know, we are cooking all the happiness and then we are trying then we, are, we have this special from Indonesian food, mm -hmm. especially in the next day. Nice. But basically, I'm from Europe. Nice. Yeah. Who's a better cook, your mom or your dad? 
Oh, no, only me, baby. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. What is this? Ice tea. Ice tea, lovely. So, Indonesian love iced tea. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Este manis. Este, este manis. Oh. Sweet iced tea. Yeah, te manis. Woo. <laughs> Ooh, guys. So, Rainer says, Nasi Padang comes from where I was born. Woo. So, in Padang. Orang awak. Yeah, orang yeah. Awak. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I I um I messed up my straw a little bit, so I might need to <laughs> cut this open. It's a bit hard. Yes. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This one. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah, I'm I'm struggling. Yeah, I'm struggling. I I give up. I'm not gonna even try. Let's go ahead and try some more food because I'm I'm excited. Okay, let's go get some uh, mi goreng. Mi goreng ayam, chicken mm. fried noodle. Mi goreng ayam. Ayam in Indonesian means chicken. Saya boleh cakap sikit bahas Melayu. Ya, ya. Mak saya dari Malaysia, so saya boleh cakap sikit. I just told them that uh, my mom's Malaysian, so I can understand uh, bahasa. Aya says, uh, rendang is one of the most delicious Indonesian food that has that has ever had. So proud of my country. Oh, AF is from Indonesia. Thank Hi, you. AF. Which part of Indonesia are you from? Do let us know. So we know Amelia is from Jakarta. Which part of? Bandung. Pa Band Bandung. Bandung. Ooh. Indahiat nasi goreng satay skewers are my top favorite from Indonesia. Ooh, yes, yes, so delicious. We have nasi goreng and sat satay also here. Nice. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab this whole piece. Okay, so now I have some fried chicken and some noodles. I'll go ahead and put them together. Here we go. Mm. It's very good, very good. Thank you so much. I'll go ahead and jump into the um, bakso. bakso. Amazing. Guys, have some with me. Yes. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Have some, have some. I don't want to eat alone. <laughs> okay, I'll go ahead and grab some meatballs. Yeah, call that bakso. It's bakso. very famous in Indonesia. The street food in Indonesia. Street food in Indonesia. Okay. I might need to go like this. Guys, look at that. We've unlocked the Indonesian cuisine badge. Woo, well done guys. That means everyone in the chat just received a hundred points. Well done guys, well done. Okay, I'm jumping into the meatballs. Bakso. Mmm. They say from beef. Yeah, yeah, it's really good. We'll have some of the soupy noodles. Mmm. Mmm. Very, very delicious. Thank you so much. Okay. Ooh, I am Hasa no name. Lots on the menu. Nasi goreng and satay too? Question mark. Well, this is what we had and oh, it's so good. So much food. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Chef Ahmed. Thank you so much, Amelia. Do you have any last things that you want to say to the chat? Come to Indonesia Pavilion, and you can feel the whole lot of Indonesia here. Welcome. Amazing. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, chat, say goodbye Bye. to them. Say goodbye to Chef Ahmed. Say goodbye to Chef Amelia. Lovely message. Thank okay, you. thank you, guys. I'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Guys, that was so delicious and so good. I can't forget my mask, so let me quickly look for it. Um, yeah. How do I keep losing my mask when I eat food? Okay, got one. I got one. I'm good to go. Thank you, guys. Ooh, AK Premium Experience is nice. It was. It definitely was. I'll go ahead and quickly put my mask back on. Guys! Ooh, we have something happening! Remember the stage! Remember the stage! Look, 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 look!
That was fun! I really enjoyed that! What was your favorite part of the Indonesian pavilion? Go ahead and let me know in the chat. Mr. Shazhan, wow! Indeed, indeed! Okay, so now I'm just making my way into towards the inside of the Opportunity District and I'm making my way towards our last location. Awesome! Okay guys, I think it's a good time to check in on the daily leaderboard. What do you guys think? Let me know, let me know. Do you guys think that, uh, ooh. Okay guys, so in 10th place is VP Test 1. Tied for 8th place is Sandra, AF, YNS, Mr. Shahzad, and AK Premium Experiences. In 4th place, we have Rainer. 3rd place, we have Jude. Second place, we have Alfonso, and in the number one spot, still managed to hang on to your title, not bad, not bad, is I am Hassan No Name. Woo! Good job, guys, good job. But don't worry, we still have a bit more time, so get those comments in. Okay, so I'm just making my way down. Look at the gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, look at that, we have a poll up. What was your favorite part of the tours today? Use hashtag A for the Black Forest of Baden-Württemberg Pavilion. Use hashtag B for the food experience stops. Or use hashtag C, the forest city in the Indonesian Pavilion. Let me know in the chat. Okay, guys. The poll is still running, so go ahead. Feel free to get your comments in. And we've almost reached our last location, which is Canvas by Coffee Culture! Look at that! Hi Steven! How are you doing? Good, how are you doing? Great, welcome to Coffee Culture. Thank you so much. Do you want to take care? Yes, let's go. Okay guys, so we're with Steven. If you have any questions for him, just go ahead and drop it into the comments. <laughs> awesome! So, yeah, as you can see, we just have a terrace now, the weather is looking great. So mm. we'll be glassing outside. We have a DJ booth and we're showing some art, actually we'll be doing that tomorrow. Ooh, lovely. And, you know, so it's, uh, I'll, get, I'll get into more details, but we're more than a coffee, uh, you know, regular coffee shop, we're a bit more. So can you have a seat there? And we'll yes, let's. Yeah. Also, our, our pool is now closed and you guys picked hashtag C, the Forest City in Indonesia Pavilion. Okay, nice, nice. Okay guys, let's go ahead and set ourselves up. Okay, I'll just go ahead. Yeah, perfect. So, <laughs> oh, that was my fault, guys. My bad, my bad. Let's see if this works out a little better. Okay, cool. How are you guys doing? How are you doing? Great, how are you doing? You Good. seem like a woman on the mission. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just trying to set it all up. Yeah, yeah so tell me about Canvas by Coffee Culture. Sure, sure. So, I mean, pleasure talking about it. So basically, it's a concept that started about uh, a year ago now. Oh wow! We okay. got, yes, we got we got speaking. We were working with Borna Expo Concept, which is basically a program where they're, you know, encouraging uh, young entrepreneurs here in the region and you know, from a creative background and how to bring something new uh, to you know to, to the region. Mm. So that's what kind of brought it together. I myself, I'm a young entrepreneur. I have my business partner who also is a businessman. We were always having meetings in coffee shops. Okay. And me having, you know, I have a marketing agency and being on the art background and so mm. on. So we always kind of wanted to merge with two. The coffee shop sometimes was a bit, you know, not boring, but it, it could be more to it. Yeah. So we thought, why not bring the two worlds together? So now, coffee culture. So as we have a tagline where coffee meets culture, it's nice. again somewhere where you can have a coffee shop, you can have a live musician, a panel talk. We just did one about you know, very um, topics that are very close to our heart about marine biology, about uh, sustainable clothing, and all you know, kind of um, things that are very hitting home right now at the moment. Nice. And you know, as well as that, we do. We have DJ sets and so on, so we keep it fun as well. It's not, you know, we don't go too into one thing, we just keep it very quiet and large. Nice. I, we have a question sure. in from Jude. Why is the cafe called Canvas? 
well, exactly with what I mentioned. So it's, it's yeah. the art to play on the art, and also a canvas is a big, you know, as people say, blank canvas is is something where it's left to be interpreted for you know various people for what they want. Mm. So again, one day it will be a panel talk, one day it will be a more of a party environment. So it completely changes. The canvas leaves it open to so many different possibilities. Nice, no, like a blank slate. Exactly. I love it. Where are you from? Me. Yeah. I was born in Mauritius. Um, grew up in the UK. I'm from London. So I'm actually half Scottish, half Mauritian. Oh wow! Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Very cool. Oh, I'm half Malaysian, half American, okay. and I, I grew up in the Middle East. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> See, everyone's mixed. That's a beautiful thing about being here as well. So many different, interesting backgrounds. So it's great. Yeah. Ooh, Alfonso says it's time for a coffee. I think Perfect. it is. Yes. I think it is. There we go. Amazing. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, it's always time for coffee. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, I will, I will admit, I'm touching it now. It feels a bit hot, so I'm gonna let it uh, hang out for a little bit, just so I don't burn my tongue. Oh, Ooh. Brown with ice cream. But look That's at that. It's a sun crowd pleaser, brown Everyone loves it, so. Ooh, the chocolate brownie with some ice cream. Cool down yes, I do agree. Have some with me, I don't want to eat alone. Sure, 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 sure. If I must, that's probably my fourth today, but... Sure. <laughs> Your fourth today, oh my goodness. <laughs> it's alright, I walk around a lot. Around yeah, the I was project, gonna say. So it burns down. I'm gonna wait for you so we can cheers to it. Okay, let's do that. <laughs> okay, all right, cheers! Mmm! Perfect! I mean, I know I sound biased, but it's really mm. good. Generally, this is so good, and yeah. I just had dinner in Indonesia, and now I'm having dessert in Canvas, so I'm happy. I'm Perfect. very happy. Perfect. Yummy. Yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and jump into the coffee. Sure. Ooh, I am Hassan No Name says, brownie with ice cream. Hmm. <laughs> it's the best combination, isn't it? What else would be my brownie? I think so with? too. Okay, cheers. Cheers again. Cheers, guys. <laughs> Oh, I need that. I mean, I'll shamelessly say it's my fifth one today as well. Oh, wow. <laughs> How'd you sleep at night? <laughs> I, I don't, so I can burn off the calories off the, off the brownie, so it's all good. Nice. Joy Life says, delicious. Yes, it was. It the brownie yeah. is super chewy, and then the ice cream just melts on top of it, and it just mixes together. It's super sweet, and it's like beautifully um, like balanced out with the coffee, so super delicious. Yeah. Nice, nice. Ooh, Jews is asking, is Canvas inside the Opportunity Pavilion? Indeed yes. it is. Very so good. it's actually, this is the Mission Possible Pavilion in the Opportunity District, and it's a, it's a part of it. Yes. Yeah. So Chung Bing Guang says, Canvas by Coffee Culture, love to taste this coffee. Then head on go, down. Yeah, please, come Do you on have down. any other branches, or is this the only branch? No, so that's the only one. Like I said, it was part of an expert project, yes. and the the plan with the legacy is to stay here after Expo also yes. and to also have another one in Dubai as we're getting a quite nice, uh, you know, yes. kind of um, um, known for our coffee and our, you know, our presence here. So we hope to bring it to Dubai afterwards as well. So nice. I love your expansion plan. So guys, we've just received the Canvas by Coffee Culture badge. Woo! <laughs> Every time they unlock a badge, everyone in the chat receives a hundred points. Wow, yeah. that's amazing. So thank you for giving them 100 <laughs> points because you gave us the coffee. Pleasure. Pleasure. Ooh, I have time for another bite. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, producer man. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and go jump for in. It. Go for it. You want another one? Well, you did okay. say you had a lot. Okay. Yeah, I had a lot. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> oh, that was so delicious. Yeah. So, Stephen, do you have any last things you want to say to the chant? Uh, everyone watching, I hope to welcome you to Canvas Like Coffee Culture. Um, like I said, we're here all weekend. Tomorrow we're actually doing a nice party at sunset with a DJ Ooh. on the terrace. So please join us, have a coffee and uh, let's have fun. It'd be great to meet you guys. Awesome, awesome. Right. Thank you so much. Thank Pleasure. you so much for the food. Thank you again. Pleasure. Chat, say goodbye to Steven. Ciao. Bye. <laughs> See you later, Steven. Thank you so much. Okay, guys, we have the daily leaderboard up, and this is the last leaderboard of the day. So let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, so in 10th place, we have VP Test 1. In 8th place, we have Sandra and AF. In 7th place, we have YNS. Tied for 5th, we have Rainer and Mr. Shazad. In 4th place, we have AK Premium Experiences. 3rd place, we have Alfonso. Second place we have Jude, and in the number one spot, the current 
Le no, no, the winner, the winner of episode 30 goes to I am Hassan No Name. Congratulations. You have 460 points. Amazing. Good job. Good job. Woo. Okay, guys. So that brings us right into the seeds of change. Are you guys ready for the seeds of change? Okay. Where should we plant today's seeds of change? Use hashtag one for clean energy, hashtag two for using less, hashtag three for green cities, hashtag four for healthy planet, hashtag five for eating well, hashtag six for living together, or hashtag seven for happy people, or hashtag eight for cleaner water. As you guys make your choice of where you want to uh, put the seeds of change today, I want to show you what I'm looking at. Oh, by the way, a seed of change is a carbon offset initiative. In case you guys forgot or haven't tuned into previous episodes. Ready? Ready to see what I'm looking at? <gasps> guys, look at that. It's a lady playing a piano and the piano is, is in the air. How gorgeous is this? Oh, guys, just take it all in. Expo is so exciting. Always something going on. people okay guys this is episode 30 which means we have so much content if you guys want to watch all of the previous episodes all you need to do is go to virtualexpodubai.com and you'll see all the previous episodes and you can tune in there as well for future shows guys do me a favor smash that subscribe button hit that like button click that follow button so you guys will never miss out on any future episodes like I said today's episode 30 we have 100 shows in total, so we're only 30% of the way there. So definitely tune in for all the future episodes. And the next one is on the 30th and is called Tech Exploring Innovation. So make sure to tune in. Okay, guys, my time is up. I had so much fun. I hope you guys did as well. See you next time. Bye.